Hello everyone, this is Trekkie1701C. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start the playthrough of Silent Threat Reborn. Uh, it takes place right after the Great War, so right after our FS port. And we're basically going to be working with Terran Intelligence to uh, help clean up the Sheevans and everything. Uh, of course, we're not playing as the same pilot as last time because uh, he's stuck on Earth and the whole jump note has collapsed. Congratulations, but, uh, pilot. You have been selected for the Special Operations see. Branch of Galactic Terran Intelligence. You passed GTI's rigorous medical and psychological so examination, and your record uh, of service with this Admiral campaign Poe once and the GTI I actually Shepard found out about exemplary. it uh, after having you played through Free Alpha Space one of the times. 91st Phantoms. As a pilot for the GTI, your missions were but this was all remade, this was all custom voice acting by the team that uh, ported FS1 to FS2. Violation of classification so, protocol will result so, in court martial. I think it's pretty nice execution game. under the Counter nice campaign and espionage say. act. The primary objective of the GTI is to provide Terran command with accurate and comprehensive information regarding the tactics, technologies, activities, and so strategic the objectives of forces hostile to the GTA. GTI is divided into three branches, each with its own fleet and each focusing on specific areas of intelligence. Special Operations, headed by the GTD Krios, specializes in strategic assault and containment. Our missions involve high priority objectives and speak in situations here because too this is explaining a lot of the backstory that I would otherwise be explaining. Intelligence, led by the GTD Soyakaze, specializes in infiltration and espionage. Intel primarily conducts and yes, Soyakaze is stories. named after what you and think it is, but to uh, the Krios, and they're going to mention the Legion. They, they are not named after who you think they're named after. GTD in fact, who you think it, they're named after, I kind of suspect might be uh, named after those ships. Involved in deployment and field testing of advanced weapons and warship prototypes. As an officer of the GTI, you will have access to these technologies before they become available to GTA pilots. Normally, the three branches conduct joint operations in concert with one another, directed by a single command fleet. Unfortunately, the loss of the GTD Legion in the Battle of Deneb earlier this year has forced us to decentralize our operations somewhat. And we'll see a we little bit more about the Legion uh, directly from when GTA we start our command. FS2 playthrough. Uh, it's All in the efforts to restore contact with Earth have failed. As you know, the sole jump node in Delta Serpentis collapsed shortly after Allied forces tracked and destroyed the Lucifer during its subspace jump. We believe the explosion of the Lucifer's five reactors created a subspace cataclysm that closed the node, perhaps permanently. The cataclysm seems to have also closed the phasing nodes to Deneb and Beta Aquilae via some sort of chain reaction. We currently have no way to access the Sol system via subspace. As Terran scientists work toward re-establishing contact with Earth, an interim GTA command center has been set up in the Delta Serpentis system. Cultural and political differences have threatened to undermine the Terran Sudan Treaty since its inception. After 14 years of warfare, the relationship between the GTA and the PBE has been plagued with mutual distrust, misunderstanding, and a failure to comply with the treaty's mandate of full cooperation. Preserving the fragile peace treaty is of the utmost importance. Both the Terran Basudan War and the Sheevan War have taken a heavy toll on our fleets, so our species must work together if we are to have any hope of defeating the Sheevan threat. As an officer of the GTI, it is your responsibility to conduct yourself in a manner worthy of your station, both in battle and in your personal interaction with the Sudan colleagues. Should tensions escalate out of control, Special Operations will brief you on the appropriate method for containing the situation. You are being issued with a new Leech Cannon prototype. The Leech Cannon drains the power supply of enemy fighters. Use the gun to disable afterburners, energy weapons and shields. No subsystems targeting is required, just point and shoot. 
the leech this is another weapon that I've never really found a good use for. Um, a bit of a brute force person, I guess. I like to just do the damage and take out the target rather than just uh, disable it, especially when it's just five aside. 15, 30 hours. Terran and Masu fighters repelled a Shivan attack against Outpost Fermi, one of our primary communication terminals in Vega. During the skirmish, Terran pilots fired on our pursuit allies with intent to kill. Terran command fears that if the PVE learns of this, oh, good. the treaty and our hopes of defeating the sheep will soon collapse. The motives of these pilots are unclear. We do not believe their actions represent a large scale insurrection within Terran. Well, good. We don't have to worry about a rebellion at least. Your objective would be to sanitize the area to prevent news of this incident from oh, spreading so the I, uh, secure zone. Yes, this is what they mean by what needs to be done. Loss of innocent lives is regrettable, but necessary to preserve the Terran Masutan Alliance and defeat the Shivans. You must not fail. We have a window of five minutes during which we must complete this operation. Staying any longer risks detection by GTA or PVE forces. Get in, do your job, and get out. Good luck. So I guess we're going to have to jump in here and get this done quickly. Because, you know, we can't have our own people know that we are shooting at our own people to prevent them from shooting at our own people. Because, you know, that would be stupid. So, let's see. Got the Banshee and the Prometheus. Go with the Phoenix and the Interceptor to start off with. Pilots, you have five minutes Whoops. to complete your objective. Prior to missile Rio's accident. Rio's long range communication to defend any ships transmitting beyond our containment zone. Sanitize the area of all hostiles. All voices must be silent to preserve the air and the air and the So let's target this cruiser and see what we can do. And I actually need to switch my weapons around. I forgot that when you switch campaign, you change things. Actually, I might as well take out the fighters. Here we go. Okay, where's the Pisces? Okay, there we go. Got a lot of people shooting at me. Let's target his engines when past them. But that way, when I get right up on him, it should uh, allow me to damage them and potentially stop him while still doing damage. Because like I said, I'm not going to worry about disabling him too much, but I am going to still try and kill him. We got to disable power away from engines now. Almost out of missiles. That transport dock will be able to use the terminal to bypass our chance to destroy Aries ASAP. Okay, so I'm taking a little bit of damage here. Not much. That's so small that I'm actually missing him. Alright. Ares. Uh, destroy. Because if he docks with the comm terminal, uh, they can override the jamming and all that. You know, that would be a bad thing, I guess. Get in here and take them out. Fire off the rest of the missiles here. And that's it. Got close, but not close enough. Alright, 
episodes. I really hope the screen did, didn't just turn a weird color here. I've got to uh, exit flux. So I should also enable auto targeting and all that. But using a piece of software called Flux on my computer to uh, basically dim the screen at night and change the color uh, that just decided to kick in again. The area is clear. GGD Creole's departing now. Alpha and Beta follow it now. Right. Looks like it doesn't matter too much because we're going to be jumping out. After containing the situation. Well done, pilot. You executed a clean sweep of the area and contained and I got a metal. volatile incident. Masuki Command remains unaware of these events, and the peace treaty remains intact. That's great. I suppose that they just don't know exactly what happened with their pilots or anything like that. You know, they don't question anything. Uh, let's see, the map metals carry over and all? Yep, they did. So that's good. Well, until next time, this is Trekkie1701C. Please remember to subscribe, rate, and comment.